Hi everyone, I'm gonna share with you how to make another beautiful, you can call wallet or gift card holder. It's all up to you. The um, paper I have here to make a template, it's eight and a half in by 11 inches. I'm gonna fold like this. Make sure everything meets up nicely. And then you're gonna fold this way. Everything good. Okay, so now we're going to make a rectangle in the middle of this line. The another paper here that I cut four inches down wide and then five and a half inches long. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm gonna fold it in half, and then from this half, I'm gonna fold the other way. When you open it, you have the center and then the four lines. See this line right here, it's going to meet this line and it's going to meet in here. Very important. If not, you can move it. Move around until you see it meet nicely. And you can see all that line that I marked in here where the fold and everything. I'm going to round this area and I'm also round this area. As long as you put the bow or place or the ruler and make sure the point meet the point and then you're good to go. Go ahead and trace the line. And you have that one line. You're going to bring this down to here. And make sure everything is good. Everything meet up nicely. Go ahead and draw the line. And you can see we have something like this. You're gonna fold it back. And then you bone fold this. Okay. Now from here you go ahead and cut follow this and cut this out. And you have a template for your wallet. Now you have a template I'm going to share with you in my description just in case that someone have a hard time doing this. Go ahead and cut the interfacing and then after that I'm going to share with you how to cut the fabric. So everyone after I cut the, tem uh, the interfacing from the template you go going to cut two of these. I'm going to do this time I'm going to use the green and the yellow together. So go ahead everyone and cut extra all around and then I'll tell you what to do. Everyone, we have a small piece right here too. Remember the square right and uh, the rectangle right in the middle. So four in by five and half. Also you go on to iron on this fabric. When you iron on the fabric, you make sure you have an, another line like this because after that we're gonna fold it over. I'm gonna go ahead and do this so I can have an extra around when I sew. I'm gonna make sure bottom and top. Everyone, after I cut the yellow one, I put it the right side and the right side together like this. I'm gonna leave at the pointy here about two inches. Oh, so. I'm going to leave it open. So you're gonna sew by follow the interface and go right to the corners, go all around, go all around, follow the interface and, and come all the way here and stop. This one you don't sew, you leave it open. Same thing to this one right here with the pocket. You're going to sew from the top here, follow interface and sew all the way. Sew it down on to the right, go all the way to the bottom. You can leave the side open. Okay, so everyone, after I sew all around, where the I left uh, two inches right here, I'm not going to trim that area, but I'm going to go ahead and trim all around. If you want to, do so. Okay, everyone, go ahead and inside out for the main piece too.
All right, so put this back, everyone. So everyone, after I iron all around here, the opening part right here, you don't need to worry about sewing or anything. All you need to do, just iron it. Make sure it folded in. There's a rectangle. You don't need to um, sew the sew line or anything. Place it corner to corners like this. And then from here, move the right side over and move the left side over. And make sure this pointy it's right next to the center like that and then from there you're going to move the bottom one up when you move the bottom one up make sure the corners stay sharp like this too now clip it down I also clip it here too. I'm gonna start from the bottom all the way up. Go to the top here. Go all around, all around, all around here. Make sure you sew this line too. I use this to put in the front. So it's just lip it up and put that in the front so it's even the thickness. It's easy for you to sew past there. Look at this everyone. So I sew bottom side and on the top. So I'm going to hand sew very close, but not on the yellow, very close next to the green and all the way to here. Inside, hi my Evelyn. And I'm not sewing all the way i all i do i'm gonna slide the needle up and then to just to get the fabric on this side a little bit and on this side because if you do sewing all the way down you're going to take the other side here down too and it's not good as long as you sew this part in most of you know how to do back stitch, that's why I don't show you, but this is how I do. I do little stitch at the time and I go curl all the way down to here. Hello everyone, this job is done. Look at that, how beautiful. And if there you have another compartment for your whatever you want to keep it in here, your money, your whatever you want. You can get all different color, but I like it here, that's why I'm telling you why I'm using this because it have yellow and green that's what I, I like to use the plane and to show you how to do this this is an extra extra po uh, bonus everyone so now I'm gonna go ahead and take one it's 14 inches and then do this so it won't fray like crazy you don't do that it's gonna grow your beer at the end you know you don't want that no beer here like this look at that if you don't do that it's gonna come out like that i don't know where is that come from but this is how much it came out and i need another one six inches the first one right here the long one the 14 inches 
You're gonna make sure you hold those two ends even like that and pull all the way up. And then whatever side of the button you, you use, you have to measure it's good with the button. I mean the pearl or whatever. Leaving this a little bit extra. I'm gonna go close a little bit. What the point? All right, so that's good. It's good enough for it to jump out. I didn't intend for it to jump. That jumped by accident. The dressing needle, and I go right into here, inside of it, and then from the outside, sold it. So it's good enough for it can stay a few times. This video is going to be a bit you long. Cut it very close to it. You don't want any beer growing on this project. And you have to park right here. You go on to fold very close the end right here. You go on to push it all the way very close, very close and roll it. Roll it around like a few times. Sorry, my hand. Again, octopus hand like this. You, I do, I do about like two times. I would not like that. Okay. And then from here, you go on to do that. Close up. Remember, you're doing the same thing to the others, the other one. Make sure your hand move and grow at the same motion because if you do this a little bit loose and then you do it a little tight for the other one it's not good so grow all the way you see my dress is still up to here on the side you want it to be go over all the way to meet that roll the sliders a lot of people say oh, you speak chinese you speak i speak any language any language out there everyone I speak all kind of language. Any. Any language out there, I speak them all. You know what language this is? Body language. Okay, so I'm gonna go all the way to here. And you see when I get into here? I'm gonna go right across from the other one that we did. Oh. I love this. I love making things like this. You are done with this one right here. The other side. You're going to do exact the same. The second one that I rolled it in the same way at the left one I did. So from here you're gonna go all the way to the other side. You're gonna hold it together with the one that you did earlier. Hold it. It's same thing. So that's why I don't show you. I don't need to show you because it's gonna take a long time. And now I'm gonna go to this way. And I connect these two together, like that. Now these two are going to stay like this, nicely all together. And so now I'm going to go ahead and make my way out. You can just go ahead and cut this. Alright, so now this is 6 inches. You're going to do exact the same. want to make sure you can leave, place it in here and then you can see if it right side or not. So like that everyone, I'm going to place it down so I can have my hand go to the middle of this. Okay, so you hide it because now I'm going to go around and it just make sure that it's staying there. So I go down here and I go to here and I go right to the new one that we just make. Oh my goodness. 
That is so beautiful. I love the colors. It's so cute. Cut this off. Okay, so everyone, this is the wallet. We're back in here. That is so pretty. You can plate this up or you can place this down. However you want to do. Okay, let me see which one is good. Maybe I asked my Chinese husband, he know. Make sure it's go right in the center of the top one, the flap right here. Don't worry about it. It go right at the curve right here. Hold this for you so you see. It go right there. The two stay at the curve and that one in the middle. And then go down on the bottom here. Remember very close to the button. Not too far because you're going to see the dread. It's not going to be nice. And then take this up. Take this. Okay. And then continue to go around. Very, very pretty. So take your time, everybody. You're almost done. When you're almost done, you don't want to screw up your hard work. So take it easy. Take your time. Relax. Inhale is hell, whatever hell you do. Okay, just go like this. Go like what I'm doing. I'm going all around. Slide it underneath the button right here and scoop the fabric on the flap and then Get this one too, the one on the button, going down, scoop up the fabric and continue to do so. That's good enough everyone, so for one button right here. Okay, everyone, I'm finished with one side of the button. Look at this, how beautiful that is. I, I either can use the pearl, I can use this. Doesn't matter because both of them are the same side. Basically right here. Okay. But you have to go on the side because the um, okay so i'm gonna go right inside of this about i go out about a quarter of an inch away from the mark that i mark put this one on away from a quarter of an inch away from the other side where i mark and then go back to the same side like that. I put the credit card on the side here if I want to put on the side and I can put money in here if I want to and then some of that change and then when I done I bring into here with the button on the side look at that it hold up so beautiful thank you so much for watching everyone please continue to support my channel by like share and subscribe mm -hmm. we'll see you next time look at the back look at the front beautiful wallet Next time I'll make something more fancier and I hope you don't mind the video is a little long. I just try to uh, cover everything. Stay safe and take care everyone.